Hi, Cookie. Hi, Mom. I miss you. <laughs> How long has it been now? We're on week six. Week six. Yeah. So that's a lot. Mm. You know, there's been some ups and downs for sure. For sure. It's yeah. Not what I was expecting. No way. Eh? No. But look, let's start with how many how many times you've changed your sheets. I have changed my sheets four times. I changed it at the end of week one, yeah. and then, then every like eleven days. So. Okay. Yeah. I probably go every seven. Just saying, but at least you're doing it. How's the food? Are you eating? I'm eating very well. I like it here. Everything's organic, whatever. I mean, oh, that's so good. Lucky you. I'm jealous. I know. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What What's the most interesting thing you learned in class so far? I think it's about a piece of art and not as much a concept, if that makes sense. No, that's fine. In I'm, your art history class? Yeah, in my art history class. It's called Untitled Portrait of Ross in LA by Felix Gonzalez Torres. It's at the Art Institute of Chicago. It's basically like a collection of 175 pounds of candy that are continually restocked by the museum and it's by this queer artist who aimed to represent the humanity of his lover who passed away from AIDS and they continually like refresh this the candy yeah, they refresh the candy to the weight of 175 pounds which is what the lover was Oy. when he became ill so that Oy. was very touching to me and I also think that the artist used such vibrant candies to represent the joy and humanity and love that he felt is very unique and it's something I haven't seen or heard of before. That's heart-wrenching. Yeah. I sort of was a coming-of-age kind of young adult, teenager-ish mm-hmm. in the 80s when all of this happened and, and with AIDS. And it is horrific, the amount of human creativity that was lost, that was lost in that time period. But that's a, an interesting concept to turn it into candy. Like it's 175 pounds of him, right? But it's sweet and colorful, you know, and happy. Candy is happy. So I guess in that respect, it's a very interesting piece of art. It says a lot without any words, right? For sure. Yeah. 